Okay, so we're going to look at the same problem as the prior video, but we're going to do it on Wolfram Alpha. So the prior video was a Leontief model. First, you were given production of 100, 125, and 125, and you were given the technology matrix. And so the way to do that is the x vector minus a times the x vector. So how do we do that on Wolfram Alpha? Well, the first thing to remember is that rows of a matrix have to go in their own braces. So you can't simply put 100, 125, 125. That would be 1 by 3. In other words, it would be a row matrix instead of a column matrix. So I need each row, in other words, each number alone in this the symbol one-dimensional one, to be inside its own pair of brackets. So it's, the brackets get a little tricky, but if you pay attention, it's not that bad. So I do a bracket for the whole matrix and a bracket for each row. So I get 100, 125, 125, and a column. Minus the A matrix. So each row, once again, is in its own bracket, and then a comma separating the rows, a comma separating the elements. And then I close that, and then times the same thing again, the same x, uh, x values, 100, 125, 125, we get the same answer we had in the last one. Now, when I need to do the other problem, I can copy and paste. So I've already done that. I copied and pasted out of this, and I set up the matrix equation to do it when I'm given the external demand. So if you recall from the prior video, we took the same situation, but we changed the, the external demand to 15, 15, and 100. So I need to do an identity matrix, which is a three by three. So that's in Wolfram Alpha is identity matrix with the I and M capitalized, minus the same A matrix. So once again, the rows are each in a bracket, everything separated by commas, including the rows. Then I had to close out with a parenthesis. So hopefully you can see that I have a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here. And I've told Wolfram Alpha to do the inverse of the whole thing. This is one of the more common mistakes I see on these problems. People say, uh, Professor Rebus, your answer is wrong. And they have not put the parenthesis here. So Wolfram Alpha has assumed one at the end and is inverting the whole structure rather than the first part, identity matrix minus A matrix. So it's very important you see the inverse here. I, I minus A inverse times the external demand. And we get the same answer, obviously, that we had when we did it on the calculator. So when I started doing these, I started learning Wolfram Alpha. I already knew how to do it on the calculator. I was really familiar with that. So I kind of thought, well, Wolfram Alpha is a bit of a pain. I've got to do all these commas. And maybe I'll just stick with the TI-83 for, the, for these kind of calculations. But as I became more familiar with Wolfram Alpha, and I started really liking to be able to copy and paste, save a command like this on a Word document and use it later, I've more or less switched to Wolfram Alpha now. So would, at this point, if I had to do matrix calculation and I had just the calculator, I would likely feel frustrated that I didn't have Wolfram Alpha handy. So I'm not going to tell you how to do these on a test, but know one of the, or the technologies or the other very well. So either put notes in your note card about the exact command for Wolfram Alpha or the exact steps on your calculator.